on you guys, it was on 1414 here. Today I'm playing Fire Pro Wrestling World on PS4. I'm in the finals of a 32-man tournament. I, I'm this guy at the very top. It's all in Japanese, but that's the Ultimate Warrior. And my opponent is this guy, Soji Kanda, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Let's get to it. That would be a cool idea to record this. Hopefully this will be the first of many Bio Pro Wrestling videos that I do. Now the Ultimate Warrior doesn't come with the game. He's a downloadable, created wrestler guy. Someone created him. I downloaded him. I've been using him a lot. I like the old school guys. I'm an old school guy. I don't really care about the intros too much. The entrances. I've been wanting this game since it first came out a while ago, but I'm a big procrastinator and I just picked it up literally not even a week ago. I've been playing it a lot. Kind of took me a while to get back into how to do stuff in this game. Probably about three or four matches before I actually won a match. This isn't my first experience with Fire Pro Wrestling. I've actually played this on Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. I, there's a story I've told on Facebook before. I'll tell it here so you guys can hear it. I have a childhood friend of mine who joined the Marines a long, long time ago. And he was sent to Japan. And he actually sent me Fire Pro Wrestling for my Super Nintendo. But the Japanese games didn't fit in the American Super Nintendo systems. But somehow we figured out that if we removed the outer shell of the game, the, the gray part, the inner part where the circuit board is, that would actually fit in the American Super Nintendo. It looked really weird, but it worked. And that's how I played it. I played it a lot. I was addicted to it. I couldn't read anything on the screens because it was all in Japanese, but I mean, playing it as much as I did and messing around with it, I was able to figure stuff out fairly quickly, how to set up my matches, a lot of trial and error. And then I ended up buying it for my Game Boy Advance. Play that a lot. Actually, my Game Boy Advance right now, the uh, D-pad on it's kind of messed up, and I think I just wore it out from playing Fire Pro Wrestling so much on it. I gotta be careful because this guy, my opponent, he has literally knocked out people in this tournament, more than one person. Like, knocked them out and that's how he won his matches. So I don't want him doing that to me. I thought about uh, doing a tutorial video on this game, just how to do the basic moves. I've read online various places where people are saying they couldn't really figure out how to do moves and stuff. A little confusing at first if you're not used to Fire Pro Wrestling. So I thought maybe a tutorial video would be useful to somebody out there. It's all about timing, really, when you lock up and when you push the button. You're not going to win every single lockup, but there are things you can do to improve your odds. Yeah, I thought he was going to be on the ropes. Oh, he was on the ropes, that's why I had to break it. Another tip I could give you guys these moves right here, these submission moves, these wear down moves, do them as often as you can. Wear them down and uh, 
you can do your bigger moves, your more powerful moves. Gotta be almost done. Oh, that was close. Maybe I need to do some more wear it on moves. One thing I want to try to do, uh, you can edit your own rings with your own graphics and stuff. I want to try to do that because I have some ideas. Oh, and I won. Very nice. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I've been kind of reading on how to do it. So we'll see how that goes. And there you go. The Ultimate Warrior won the tournament. Very nice. Like I said, hopefully this will be the first of many Fire, Fire Pro Wrestling videos that I do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.